son, you look like an MPC. You need some new threads. Time to talk rotation. Ah, great. I've been looking forward to this. Every NBA player wants to start someday, and I'm sure you're no different. I've never come off the bench a day in my life, coach. That's pretty much the case for every player in an NBA locker room. Until they get to the league. Right. Of course. There's no nice way to say this, so I'm gonna put it bluntly. You've got an established player in front of you, you want his spot, you're gonna have to take it from him. Okay. That makes sense. This team is a meritocracy. You get the minutes you earn. Nothing's given. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what your draft position is or how much you're getting paid. You get it done out there on the court, we'll put you in the starting lineup. So just so I'm clear, how do you, how do you make that decision? Like, will you let me know when I've done enough to become a starter? Yeah, we've got some milestones we want to see you hit. You hit them, we'll put you in the starting lineup. This is all pretty straightforward. Like Cliff said, communication is a big part of what we do here as a ball club. I can see that, and it's much appreciated, Coach. Good. Now get ready. It's almost game time. All right. I'll see you later, Coach. See you. So, you know, I want one thing. Yo. So how'd it go with Coach? Any surprises? What'd he say? Yeah, not really. If I want to be a starter, then I got to outplay the guy ahead of me. Simple as that. Yeah. And hey, that seems fair. Yeah, sports. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, not to bring any extra motivation or anything like that, but uh, you know only starters get endorsement deals, right? I already know. You know, dudes on the bench ain't getting no shoe deal. They're not. Not right now, but that day will come. Okay. For right now, let's just take this in. We in the league. Yeah. I mean, you ever visualize something like this? You know what, P, man? I never really thought about what the tunnel looks like, man. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not talking about the tunnel. I'm talking about right here. You and me, you getting ready to play in your first NBA game. Honestly, no. You know, nothing prepares you for this, man. Don't matter how many high-pressure situations that you face. Just, this is different, man. Or what about that open run I got your invitation to? <laughs> you know, things got a little heated between you, you know who, yeah? Well, yeah, that was dope, but we didn't have 20,000 people watching us, man. That's true. That's yeah, true. it's a little different. It's different. All right, then. It's different. Hey, it's hey. different. Yeah. Hey, look, though, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. I know you gotta go win that game. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so, uh... They claim you proud, yeah? You already know what it is, Pete. You know. Blame you. And talking about the Knicks, GA, do you feel they took a step forward last season? I do. I mean, losing in seven in the conference semis with all the injuries they had, that, that really kind of set them back. They ended that game seven with the Pacers missing four of their starting five. So, no doubt, expectations will be high. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, they've got clutch guys on this team, and they never let up. Robinson finds Ananobi, and here is Robinson. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. So for Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.